Well, good Tuesday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning update. An update on the weekend crime report. San Angelo police were called to the scene of a stabbing Saturday night where the victim was then transported to a local hospital for treatment. The incident occurred just before 8.30 p.m. at Cheyenne Crossing Apartments on West 31st Street. A recent report claimed that the victim was a 64-year-old man who did not cooperate with investigators. The man was transported to Shannon Medical for treatment. The incident is still under investigation. And the father of a missing girl from Colorado City who was found dead over five years ago is speaking out about the investigation and the mysterious death of his daughter. Community members of her hometown came together for a candlelight memorial in 2013 after her remains were discovered in Scurry County. Haley Dunn went missing in 2011. Her father, Clinton Dunn, says that they still haven't found her killer, but he believes it to be the only named suspect, Sean Atkins, who lives in Big Spring, Texas. Also, you can learn about one Concho Valley man whose nimble hands can create custom furniture at Santa Fe Furniture. Cord Sonnenberg has been designing pieces there for six years. He says some of the architectural design classes that he took in high school helped him get where he is today, as well as his hands-on experience. To learn more about his work, visit ConchoValleyHomePage.com to watch the latest Concho Career segment. But now let's see what's happening in weather with Tavon Sharifi. Tavon, a slightly chillier start today, but what's the rest of the day look like? You're right, it is a chilly start, but we'll be comfortable today with those temperatures in the mid-60s. 65 for your high temperature, partly cloudy skies, northeasterly winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we head into this evening, it is going to be another chilly night with an overnight low of 37 degrees, increasing cloud cover, northeasterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, even cooler, but right back down near seasonal averages. We'll see a high temperature of 57 degrees, a slight chance to see showers as early as tomorrow evening, but we're really going to see those showers move in as we head overnight into Thursday and continuing into Friday, increasing those rain chances going into Friday, 62 degrees, and it is going to be a cool weekend ahead in the lower to mid-50s.